Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and we're back with the second part of the Penumbra Tech demo. Last time we pretty much uh, had the same setup. Guy gets a key from his missing slash dead father that he hasn't seen for years and uh, leads him to Greenland and a facility underground. So of course it's quite truncated and we've skipped over most of the, uh, the mine shaft and everything that you see in the final game. But uh, we got our vent tool and we're in this vent after that bat bust out and came after us. Alright, so we have the key card. Where was that door? I think that was in the same hallway, so I don't know if there was a good reason to go up into the shaft. Okay, this is a room we haven't seen. Got a computer. So one of these is probably the door with the key card that we need. Do you have any personal notes? Plate cutter. Alright, so I guess when we uh, find a door we'll just pull up that thing and start punching in codes. A plate cutter, I guess, is that other metal cutter thing we saw, so maybe we need to use that for something later. I guess that's the only thing we need from here. Alright, what, what's the code to get out of this room? This would be the office, I guess? 6667? Alright, so the game crashed the first time I tried to open that door. And it turns out this is actually what the game looks like with all the settings turned up, because uh, it reverted to low textures when I tried to load back in, and it looks a lot worse. Okay, so that bug thing is right around the corner. Then, I'm trying to remember where that door is. I think it's right next to where it, the thing is. Obviously, we're not going to have time to swipe a card and punch a code. This is this room. We don't need to go here. I think. I honestly don't remember. We could probably use the vent shafts to get around this thing if we can get it, you know, to follow us. But that depends, I guess, if it resets or not. I'm curious, if I can throw this thing past it, I want to see if it reacts to the noise. Hmm. So the first one that came after us, we had the sanity, not sanity, but the, the sort of fear effects from the the main game where if you stared at a monster too long, your screen got all blurry and you got all panicky. Okay, I'm just looking here. I think that might not actually be where we need the key card. God, that thing makes a horrible noise. And not like a, oh shit, this is a terrifying monster noise. Like, it's just like a horrible screech. Okay. Let's, let's look around a little bit more. Because I think I am remembering that door in a place that it is not. It might actually be in this hallway. This just leads to the workshop. And this is a dead end. You'd think this door would lead to outside. Okay, it's an elevator. So 
So there's the plate cutter. We don't need that for anything yet. Um, maybe we do need to go in that room with the two stairs. There might have been another door there. The one at the bottom that we couldn't open. Can't get that bathroom open though. Actually, I'm pr pretty sure there's probably a vent that leads over that, but I'm gonna guess that it's not essential. Uh, this is the wrong way. Just sprint past this thing. At least it's not particularly dangerous. It's the office. Take you on a whirlwind tour of this underground facility. So I guess it would be this door. Let me go down to the bottom. Yeah, because we got out of here through the middle and we came in through there, so this door should be the one that we need to swipe. Yep. Swipe that and shit. Uh I guess it would be the level one to level two code, right? One, one, two, four. Okay. Huh. That's it, I guess. We didn't even get to see that other monster. Maybe because I didn't uh, aggro it? There's supposed to be something called the Hunter, which is a quadrupedal sort of thing. Yeah, I guess that was the only thing we could have done. Um, I think the Hunter was supposed to be the thing in the vent. So I guess that's it. It's, it's pretty much what eventually became Penumbra. Obviously, the, the actual level and everything is different, but, you know, the puzzles and the, the dragging, interacting, physics puzzles, all that seems pretty much the same. Uh, I want to see the monster design maybe a little better. I mean, the first Penumbra mostly just you had you dealing with sort of gross, undead-looking dogs that you could beat to death with a broom. But it also had the rock worms, which are pretty neat. And then the second game, of course, had the turn got infected with their dick tube hanging out. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, the Penumbra Tech demo. Shame we didn't get to see that Hunter. Maybe I'll figure out what you need to do to see that, because it is mentioned on the Penumbra wiki. But uh, other than that, I'm in Shadefire. This is Penumbra, and... Uh, Hope you folks all had a fine day. And uh, if you're interested in more Penumbra, of course, I did do an LP. Obviously, the audio quality is kind of bad because it's a different audio setup entirely back then. That was years ago. But, uh, I don't know, I think it was probably one of the decent LPs I did. People seemed to enjoy it. Not a lot of people saw it, I don't think. Because, again, Penumbra, not a super well-known game like Amnesia. But, uh, yeah, check that out, I guess, if you're interested. And uh, I'll see you folks all around some other time. Till then, take care. So my mistake about the Hunter. The Hunter was actually not cut from the final game. It was actually cut from the tech demo because the modeler for the Hunter, or Hunters, I guess, actually left the team uh, during the creation of the tech demo. So I guess uh, it was just the bad things that we got to see that were the only new thing or different thing in that however apparently people have done further work on the hunters and they're in a penumbra sort of sequel a fan sequel called penumbra necrologue made as a mod for amnesia to take advantage of the amnesia engine improvements so we might actually play that at some point now the only reason i didn't want to play that before is because I never did the third part of Penumbra, Penumbra Requiem, which is 
sort of continues the story, but is mostly just a bunch of puzzle maps with, you know, sort of story bits in between. So maybe maybe we'll go back and uh, finish off the Penumbra LP with Requiem, if that's a thing that people are interested in, and then kind of get into Necrologue to see what the fans have come up with as the continuing adventures of Philip Lafresque. But, uh, yeah, so disappointing that we didn't get to see those hunters because they, they look pretty neat. Anyhow, now you folks take care for good. Or at least until next time.